Yeah, 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 I'm ready. Just quickly nipped down to Sydney, folks. <laughs> Literally every morning, one of those was parked outside the uh, outside the hotel, wasn't it? Um, oh, one thing I do need to do is get that out of the way. That is actually quite annoying. Um, so I'll need to. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's sort of like in the way, but that's fine. I can. I can maybe shorten that lead right up. Hold on. Because uh, now I've got that. Hey folks, um, right. Listen, um, when we got back, yeah, what, sorry, 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 Jilly. Bless her. Yeah, it's not a nice thing, is it? Right, let's uh, stop messing around, Jerry. Right, so, folks, <laughs> just get this beautiful 350. Uh, Did we get Pinky again? I didn't see. I didn't see. I was messing around with a mic. He's been out playing today. I, I reckon he's got babies, mate. I reckon they come out to get food and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch the heat. Watch the heat. Look at the heat. Yeah. Man, you can see that wall of heat. With the with the heat from the sun with the sun uh, rays, something like that. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal, folks. I've got home, and um, I noticed um, I noticed, and this is important. This is important that we sort of like do all these different tests because I'm trying to reenact exactly what we did earlier. Now this mic here, the Lavellia mic, uh, has 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 um, been welcomed. Uh, across the board by everybody it most definitely is clearer and picks up a lot more than the wireless go on its own as a lavelia so we've established that but um the fact that i have it pinned here i think it's a little bit too sh close and therefore a little bit too shouty now the thing is that we've got the option on the mic to turn the, the gain down a little bit doesn't work uh, it's too quiet and i know we've already sort of like semi-tested that so we what we've done is come out here uh to sort of like reenact i want to do all that shouty stuff and do a bit of singing uh just so that i can see i need to hear whether it's um whether it's too shouty and, and quite actually quite scratchy uh that we had this morning a few people mentioning that it was very loud you know so i just sort of want to um first of all get your opinion but also something for us to go back to and listen to <laughs> Experiment number 457. Jerry with microphone. <laughs> okay, so this is this is me now. What? No, 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 no. This mic is no different. Oh god, here we go. This mic is no different than the one we were using earlier. However, it's just now, as opposed to being right below me, it's sort of like a foot. Uh, and a half away from me so it's a little bit less with me but you're picking up maximum on the uh, on the noises from the airport of course I can talk a little bit quieter like that if I need to but the only thing is I'm a bit shouty aren't I um, every now and then 
I sort of like start off low, maybe a little bit like that, but then start getting into a conversation. The next thing you know is I'm quite... <laughs> so I, I, just, I just need to get um, your opinion, but also um, um, use it to, uh, to check, uh, compare it to this morning's video. Put some funny things out, folks. If you're uh, if you're interested, go to the channel. Either on. Okay, so you've done nothing on the 700, no, Jilly. You haven't dropped it, have you? Okay, all right. Okay, can I just ask you then, Jilly? Is it okay? That's good. It, the, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not so much the the jets and the background noise. It's more to do with my voice because I don't like it. You know, someone said this morning when they came on, they're like, "Blimey, Jerry, you're a bit loud today." You know, um, <laughs> which is understandable. And I don't, I don't like that shouty thing. You know, because uh, I do shout, so I don't want it to distort and interfere. If you see what I mean. Um, but. Uh, it's good to uh, experiment, isn't it? And what a better way to experiment with actually uh, reenacting what we were doing earlier. Sorry. Now I want to hear this, hear this. That's good feedback so far. I like that. Hey, look, how good is this camera? How good is this camera, folks? How far away is the moon? How many millions of miles? Now, if you look carefully, is that a big paw print? <laughs> if you look carefully. It's amazing, isn't it? The um, the the, uh, the moon. It, I mean, apparently that if you strip away all the water on the surface of of, of, of the of, of the Earth and strip away, so it basically it would look like that in terms of. And if you look at the ocean floors and see some of the, you can clearly see impact craters all around the world, around coastlines and all that. But that's basically. Uh, is that who's that there? Is that John? <laughs> Oh wow, Lloyd Bell, Emirates triple seven in ten minutes, new livery. Wow, not only yeah, but not only have we uh, not only have we not seen a triple seven for a long while with Emirates, but a passenger jet that is, but we haven't seen a triple seven in the new livery. I think they paint these things in Dubai, folks. If I'm right. right. Yeah, that sounds great. Mate. That sounds fine. I'm listening to that. The unmarked. Look at that. Did anyone do timestamps in Sydney? And if so, did anyone get that uh, Embraer E2? Um, uh, and it was with um, Port, not not Port. Um, what was it, Jenny again? It was, it's a least, it's, it's not a least, I think it's just a, a I think it was um, salvaged from another airline or something. And, uh, and these guys uh, took it on, someone mentioned it on the show this morning. Longy, Bob Shalvoy. Oh, Lloyd Bell, um, the 777 is here daily in the evening. Okay, there we go. Well, it kind of is, isn't it? So thank you, sir. Nice, shiny cafe I think pioneer that's it pioneer anyone got a timestamp on that at Sydney saw it a couple of times during one day I was oh, Finnair sorry 
and say cafe. Little monitor, you see. Look at this thing. Oh, it's nailed down. Oh, aviation in 4K, that would be great. I'm actually just looking. Um, well, if you want to, that would be great if you want to do the whole show, but um, the. Um, that Embraer would be fantastic if you could find that for us. We'd appreciate that. Um, Casino Square, that blank one is a Brussels Airways plane. Terrif ter terrific, terrific light right now, Avro Aro. EK41 is over Enfield, thank you. Uh, and that's Aidan Campbell, Toby Espista, Ian Morrison, Jack's Aviation. Is the camera HCVX1 still? Yes, sir. Um, we will never um, move from the VX1. We don't get paid for it. We don't get supplied with free cameras or anything like that because they're, it's not worth it. Um, I don't want to sort of like be have, be under the sort of like you know control of anyone in terms of sponsorship or anything like that. So, uh, and they're only like 500 quid as well. And this one's this one's been in service for for a year or so now, hasn't it? Early birdie, thin air wet lease. That's a B agent. Okay. Seymour, I'm a guitarist and bass player if you need me perched on the van roof behind you. Hanging off with his bass. Sid Spotter guy, reason why we did uh, one stream from uh, Sydney, as you can understand, we've uh, that was obviously free view. Uh, all the other shows that we did um, were for our members who pay uh, a monthly subscription, and it is wonderful that they do it to support it and to give them something back um, exclusively. We um, we uh, stream all of our intercontinental shows to first class and super class members. Um, but uh, premium uh, about a week later normally um, and uh, it kind of works that way but uh, the, the great thing is that our members are such a great bunch of people that they allow us to uh, they're more than happy to do a free view to, to, to show off the great places that we visit is that a Volkswagen? No. Jill Whitkins has gifted a membership thank you Jill so, um, yeah, I think I'm, uh... see now, here's the thing, let me just, let's just do a test, shall we, folks, because that's the mic that's perched up on top of the camera. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, um, take the mic and I'm going to position it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And now he's a member. Oh, what a cool guy. Um, let me just uh, unravel this. Oh, he's been gifted a membership. That's fantastic. There you go, mate. Welcome. You get a lot of people, you know. Um, you know, not, don't want to put anyone under any sort of pressure. It's like, you know, you're in and you're out, whatever. Um, your, your, your monthly subscription, it's not, you're not, uh, got no, there's no contract or anything silly like that, you know. Um, you can stop at the end of the month. You can pause it for a little bit uh, if you're for a few months. You never lose your stripes either, which is a really cool thing. By the way, I'm just unravelling the mic at the moment if you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, and it might be a little bit sort of like... Um, Oh, aviation in 4K. Thank you, sir. I'm just going to take this off. Let me just put this up here. Yeah, that was very quick. Fair play. How did he do that? Blew me neck. No. 
because I'll tell you why we, I want to find it, folks. And thank you in a, aviation in 4K. Wow, how quiet that is, man. Um, spoke to the guys at Embraer today, and um, we're looking at doing a show with them on the E2 because, you know, a lot of pe people have been talking about it. Right, so anyway, this is the microphone now right up by uh, underneath me. You know, um, let me show you. There it is. Uh, okay, so this is test number two. You like the uh, mic on the top of the camera. Uh, this might be a bit shouty, right? I'm going to leave it to you. You give me the um, give me the beat, the feedback. Dean Meller, I lost my stripes. Well, Dean, that must be because you st started another account. Well, no, but you can, yeah, but you, you always keep your stripes, don't you, Jilly? If you, if you come back. Well, no, no, but if he, if he bought, if he, if he joined again. Yeah, yeah of course. You haven't lost your stri stripes, Dean, if you come back as a member, that's all. Uh, unfortunately, when you, when you're not a member anymore, obviously you don't get your emoji thing, do you? Um, oh, really? Sounds okay, sounds fine. Sound is ripper, Alex Hilton. Shouty but muffled as well. Right, let me just put that back on the top of here, man, because there we go. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine, Julie, because now I'm gonna put it back on top of the camera again. I'm just putting that back on the top of the camera and I'm, I'm just gonna double check. Right, this is back on, this is on back of the top, back on top of the camera now. Um, bit rustily loud okay so there we are it's back now on the top of the camera you see it's back where we belong where the two winds blow <laughs> keefy weefy prefers the shouty one Twice gate, I don't know, give it, give it a chance. That was, you can't have said the engine noise was too quiet now because there was nothing there to listen to. So just let's just, it's back where it was. See an office sounds better on the ca camera, much nicer on the ears, this Craig Sims. Perfect Green Acres. Uh, Lady Hull, we've got, we've got a cruiser apparently, Cargo Lux, and we do have clear skies. Um, Due to cruise overhead from the southeast in a few minutes. Okay. You got it? From the southeast. Okay. Well, I, I'm I'm seeing Jilly all the comments a lot better. Canuti, uh, but top top of the camera uh, camera a lot better. Bob Shalvoy. Uh, Boot lab bit of feedback first position better, which is what this is now. This is the first position. Might. Better on the camera, yeah. Okay, okay, well, what about just double check that if I'm talking really quietly, just imagine I'm in a in a in a location like um, in Miami, for example, where I'm up on the roof in outside on the uh, on the balcony where I can't shout too loud. I can only talk like this. Mind you, it sounds it sounds like I'm in the uh, toilet when um, in the bathroom, doesn't it? When I when I film from Miami, <laughs> not all the time. Kim Kimmy sounds a bit uh, sounds sounds more balanced on top of the camera. That's good. So in other words, the jet noise. Okay, I'm going to shut my mouth now. I want to hear when you start hearing. Know when you start hearing this aircraft. I'm going to tell you when I'm starting hearing it. Now.
Yeah! Wow! Beautiful light. Um, Rico M is a returning member. Uh, 747 GP. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. No, I. No, 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 no. They're saying when they can hear the sound of the engines, but they're they're delayed, aren't they? So, but they could hear it. Is uh, when I when I say now is that when they could hear it? <laughs> sort of a little bit. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. My postman's a right barrel of laughs. Cogalux. Oh, I say Rico uh, is a returning member. Karen uh, Nothnagal has gifted a membership. Thank you, Karen. Finally got her name correct now, haven't I? Uh, James Small is a returning member. Welcome back, James. Can hear Wookie, Trevline. Sound seems fine, Mark Gillian. Um, Gillian, sorry. Wow, that's really cool, man. That's amazing. A blind plane spotter. Prefer on top of the camera. I follow you guys for your quality audio. Thank you, blind plane spotter. Well, that's why we do what we do. Ironically enough, I was speaking to somebody um, uh, from, uh, I can't say who it was because that was sort of like, um, you know, uh, tell you where I was yesterday. But I was talking to someone yesterday from a very high up position uh, in the aviation industry. And I actually mentioned that we do have a, uh, a blind plane spotter. I don't know if we have more than one, Jilly, but I know I know for sure we have one. And I said that they uh, they love to listen to the show. It's like a podcast, isn't it? Is that, would that be the, the equivalent? But that's brilliant. Rubbish mechanic, thank you. Uh, same time, t heard the 777, same time as you. So that is brilliant. You are picking up exactly what I am picking up. Brilliant. Trev Line, great shot. Lee Shan, don't overanalyze, it's perfect. Oh, here we go, Emirates, triple seven, new livery. It's more noticeable on the triple seven than it is on the A380. Um, with that shading in the in the flag now, looks really good. Like it. Lady hole, nice shot. Camera spot wins. Uh, Bootle lad, stunning. Deborah Davis. Uh, Helen Clapp. Singing is great. Singing is good for your soul, man. Maybe not for the neighbours, but for your soul. <laughs> okay, I'm, 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 I'm good for uh, I'm good for all um, for all overheads. Any uh, I'm keeping an eye out for Pinky just in case. Matt Denk is a, a brand new, well, no, a returning member. Uh, welcome back, Matt. Good to see you. Cameron Twenty Three is also a returning member. We got James Small as well. Sarah uh, Bolshwier has gifted a membership. Thank you, Sarah. Very kind of you. And this is the Dreamliner, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolutely wonderful airplane. <laughs> Who's that? Kathy Williams, thank you.
Wow! Look at that wall of air, folks. That's insane, mate. What's that, Jilly? Don't know if... Don't know if... Don't know if a television I touch you so man I touch you so until you started something I've got to sing loudly so that it I want to make sure it doesn't distort <laughs> I love giving people earworms and all have, have that one on me <laughs> why am I singing that song at 10 o'clock tonight No, I'm saying what somebody would be saying. Get rid of it. <laughs> Carol Smith, can't believe I've been on a Dreamliner. Yeah, I, th I think so, but I think that will be just a shouty, Jilly, because we did try it and it didn't work. Yeah, it did, made no difference. So under the cap is shouty as well, folks. Um, in terms of keeping everything dry, in the case of rain, let's look at this, okay? Because if I put it under my rain jacket here, <clears throat> right, let me just, uh, I'll try this, folks, because let's just, let's pretend it's raining. Oh, here comes the rain. Oh, flipping it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, really? Jilly, can you get me a hamburger? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, reenactment, reenactment. I'm just going to pull this mic for a second. Stand by. I've got to unravel the bleeding thing and it's taking forever uh, the other way around. So stand by. I know the mic's gone off. I did say that I'm pulling the mic out. Yeah. Okay, mic back in. Um, so we we'll just this is this is what I would do in the instance of rain uh, folks so stand by I'll just do this quick and we'll zip that up like that uh, a, a, a bungle okay uh, now that is with a rain coat on over the top uh, let's see what that's like test number three with rain coat on wet test Matt Denker, Canada Airlines really great to fly with. That's great feedback, isn't it? I've flown with uh, Air Canada, haven't I? Triple seven out to Toronto. And that was great service. And it was a bandit, wasn't it? You really need to test while being sprayed with a hose. <laughs> okay, let's just read down the comments to see. Uh... <laughs> I always have thought of a couple of directional mics. No, directional mics do not work for this specific operation. Directional mics are when you want to pick up something that's in front of t camera, um, or if you're in a studio or something like that, where you're pointing the microphone at someone. This, I need both. I need engines and my voice. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, rain. That's good. Okay, well, rain, rain cover is good. Okay, well, one thing's for sure, we're actually 100% on this, on this Lavellia mic, aren't we? It's very, very good indeed. So, um, let's put it back on the camera. I think we're done, aren't we, Jilly? I think that's it, isn't it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't about hearing the mic, uh, guys. It's, it wasn't. It wasn't a problem with the mic in terms of hearing it. It was. A, it was about distortion. 
because I, I noticed when we played back some of the show from this morning, the mic, because it was so close to my body or so close to my mouth, it was, it was very close. It was like inches from my mouth, whereas now it's a foot or so away. So I can, I can speak freely both from a low to tone, if I'm down here like this, uh, if we look over here and see that wonderful 767 sitting over there uh, with the United Airlines. Uh, or I can, say, uh, I can say it like that. Or I could probably say it like that. Um, and it won't distort, hopefully. Oh, what? Jilly, what's that? This is an omnidirectional mic. This Lavellia is omnidirectional. <clears throat> In fact, um, I think you'll find that most modern microphones, unless you specifically want a, a specific directional mic, um, then most mics are omnidirectional, I believe. Well, uh, good ones anyway. You see that crease behind the flight deck there? Something you don't, uh, it's a bit like, oh. Yeah! See, now that I think that might have been a, a, a missed exit there. No, maybe not. He wanted to get that exit, I think. May have been break to vacate, um, but uh, likely just a uh, very established pilot. <clears throat> the legend Freddy Laker. He used to live, uh, he used to live not that far from me. He actually lived across the road from a boozer that I used to go to. In fact, he lived across the road from me, from a, for, uh, for, for, from a boozer um, that I used to do DJing in. No, we're not getting any other mics, folks. Uh, Aidan Campbell, ATR 42500 from Dundee over Pinner. Um, thank you, sir. Uh, did um, Aviation in 4K send the, uh, the the stamp through, GP? Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate that, Aviation in 4K. Uh, we'll check that and um, send that off to our friends. Okay, yeah, yeah. Cool. Is that it coming in or going out? Because if it's coming in, then it goes out about an hour later, I think. It's going out, is it? Okay, well, we can wind it back uh, probably about an hour or so and it'll, it'll show the arrival as well, I'd imagine. Uh, just trying to think which, which runway. I think it might have... I can't remember which operation it was on. Um, but it more than likely, based on the... Well, JH, thank you, sir. I've seen this three times today, haven't we? Yeah! Nice! Yeah, little Jack Russell 737 Max, man. How about that? So those leaps can sing, man. I mean, they are really a, a CFM 56 on steroids. Big fan blades and all that, obviously, as we know about the bigger uh, engine itself. But boy, oh boy, can those things uh, make a racket. That's pretty cool, I like that. Because I kind of thought it was like, it was over that the CFM wouldn't, uh, was, was the last bastion of the big reversers. But that guy has just um, given me new hope uh, for the uh, leading edge aviation propulsion um, aeroplane engine. Wow, 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 that's amazing. Yeah. I'll copy that. That's a really good thing to feed back to BA, isn't it? 
Thank you, uh, Mr. Christian. I just uh, took a screen grab of it. Yeah! A little bit of, uh, a little bit of thrust, not a great deal. Maybe even almost idle, really, but uh, how about that? Look at this, you know. I tell you what, since I started Big Jet TV, I've, I've more and more grown to love the 737. Especially, and I think we were discussing it this morning, the fact that the front end of it could be a 707, a 727, or an old 737. Of course, the eyebrows aren't on this one, because she's the most up-to-date Max. Usual speedy 737. And Doig, uh, ATR Dewin, is from my hometown of Dundee. Fantastic. JB Trip Reports. Good day to you, Jill Watkins. Okay, row hit. Interesting. Andrew Hickingbottom likes how chiselled the nose is on the 737. Massive cartoony winglets, yeah. Of course, that's the... Um, if you look at the, um, the rake on the 737 non-max um, scimitar, split scimitar winglet, I don't think it's as angulated as that. I know it's... Um, so that's the Pratt & Whitney engine. That's, that's where the competition is right now between the Pratt & Whitney engine and this Leap engine, um, which all 737 MAX aircraft are fitted with. Um, and yeah, it's a proper old school front end, isn't it? You look at the Airbus, it's much more rounded, isn't it? Um, I mean, I know the A380 is not exactly much one to go by because it's so massive, but you know, the, um, the, 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 the shape of the front end of the 737 is proper old school, isn't it? That could almost be a 707 sitting right there or a 727. Sten and the non-plastic generation. All 350s are all greasing their landings today. Leap engine with British Airways, all British Airways Neos powered by the Leap. Of course, you know, um, like I said, like I've said before, that um, never got any response from that post that I put out. Oh, look, there's Helvetics um, in Brea, and we're hoping to do a show with those guys, folks. I'm putting a plan across to do a show with the maintenance section at Zurich. Um, one uh, that will be a live um, show. Then I'll be. Um, driving live I'm guessing to the aircraft that's at gate I will then be flying on the Embraer uh, already done it on the E1 uh, E190 E2 um, with Helvetic uh, to London City where we will have somebody there to film us landing live we'll film me landing live and then we'll go live from London City really and then I'll drive home <laughs> but a nice big show on the E2 how about that Now watch the watch the blades go into reverse pitch. See how that there it is.
welcome Paul Weaver. Now what those what those engines are doing, obviously they don't reverse, um, you know, the uh, when I say reverse, that they go into a reverse pitch where the blade itself turns um, by the, the, the op kind of what the reverse thrusters do on a on an aircraft as soon as those levers are pulled then the um, the blades will pitch into a pushing um, uh, pitch where they're pushing the air forward rather than um, pulling it if you see what it means I believe that's right anyway okay looks like cat's eyes I love the sound of a prop Another one to the grease list, isn't it? Yeah. Did that did that happen live on the show then, Jimmy, when my hat went in the in the river? Was that live? I can't remember. No. I was filming a promo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my hat blew off and went in the Thames. Floated off down the river. Well, there we go then. Carmen 2020, newly painted Qatar jet. How does one know that that is newly painted? Aidan Campbell turbo props are great, but the sound of that engine of the Connie at Haas was priceless. Well, you know that, you know that. And that was just one. To be honest with you, just hearing the one engine was kind of enough, wasn't it? Um, it was so cool. Rohit, the pitch flip can be seen on row six or seven window seat. The pitch flip, pitch flip. What's that? Enlighten me. Oh, look at this beautiful bird, man. Doesn't she look, oh, easy, son, easy. He's showing off now. Nailed it. It's a beautiful aeroplane, isn't it? A beautiful aeroplane in the aesthetics, sort of like stakes. Um, 777 is a, is a beautiful aeroplane in just the pure thoroughbred aeroplane, jet plane stakes, isn't it? It's just a gnarly beast, the 777. And we love it. Joanna B, that bait, that. 350 I think was the one in from Beijing okay yeah 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 got it I got it I got it I got it am I gonna get that Hold on air tanker nice Good catch, great catch. The Ray Bans will be on, won't they? Member 
didn't realize I'd been here that long. Wow, Paul, that is, you know, it is just amazing when I read those, um, those kind of comments from people who've been here for so many years. Um, consider yourself fate one yeah. consider yourself one of the family yeah. we're going to get along yeah. <laughs> it is isn't it mm. wrong way both sound good to me thank you Oh, big B just went over the top. Nice to see. I think uh, I think now, around this time now, if the bees want to come out, then come on out. I think the uh, the worst of the cold weather has has um, has finished with us, isn't it? The old um, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have said that, should I? Really? Oh, I need a family. Yeah. Now you can see that wing. Look how uh, how sagging that wing is it's not a happy wing you know when it's uh, when it's on the ground I remember it's always it was actually Dave Captain Dave who brought this to my attention is the fact that and it makes perfect sense is that a wing is happiest when it's in flight and uh, not on the ground because that puts it that's putting stress on the wing uh, and the wing components uh, which is why I'm guessing there have been some uh, stress cracks found on some wings that have been uh, inspected. Ah! Um, on A380s. Cheryl Howard, hearing you loud and clear. Laugh it up. Wait for the 350 freighter, it will look even better. Yeah, the, it's, 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 it's a, um, the 350 freighter is sort of like a hybrid, isn't it? It's not, it's not a 350 1000 and it's not a 350 900. It's actually a, 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 you know, a, a thoroughbred freighter. I'm just having a look and see, just double check what that is there. Nothing sort of like, you know. Easy jet, is it? No, hold on a minute, what's that? What's that? Mean? Is that going into Stansted or Luton? He's going into Luton, isn't he? Look at that. It's not louder air or something like that, is it? Or is it easy jet? And it's just the colours on my monitor making it look much redder than. I think it's easy, Jen. Look at the look at the orange um, canoes on the wings. I think it is. It is. Now the um, now it's quite clear to me that that is it. Is it. <laughs> Ian Justico. Good day to you, Dan. Easy jet from Geneva to Luton. There we go. H. Matthew Martin tuning in from Sydney, Australia. Wow, Matthew. What time is it? Sydney. Wow. Uh, that's going to be sort of like uh, coming up to. Oh, no, actually. Hold on a minute. I'm going to have a think here. <laughs> Still, it's, it's very early morning, isn't it? Or no? Is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now these, th these things can make a little bit of a noise if they want to. Yeah, Thursday morning, innit? Yeah, this time last week we were, yeah, we were awake. I'm ready to go out and do our first stream. Um, yeah, we were just literally waiting to get down to breakfast, which opened at, what, 5.30, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's 
J Mank, Joanna B, Aiden Campbell, Oman Air 787-9, Dreamliner from Muscat, 17 minutes out. Not seen one of those for a while. Uh, Oman Air, no, we haven't. I mean, I, I'm guessing I'm guessing the Oman Air jet is a is another evening service. Uh, that departs probably early in the morning or something like that, is it? Or an e afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, inbound, and then a a nighttime flight out? Maybe I don't, I don't really know. This time last week, it was tomorrow. <laughs> uh, bits and pieces. The meeting went extremely well. Um, but that's as much as I can divulge uh, at this stage. Um, it, and the, the results of that meeting will be evident over the next couple of weeks. Uh, well, maybe, uh, maybe a few weeks or maybe even sooner. It depends on how quickly these things are implemented, we'll see. I think we've, uh, can you hear that? Can you hear that folks? Oh, hold on. Just wanted to hear if you can hear that, those engines. But uh, there's another set of, here we go, let's listen. shut him up now how old is he he's just learnt how to meow Jill Watkins loving the silhouette shots Let's see what uh what she's behaving like long range. Yeah, not looking too bad, is it? Oh, really? Captain Manny, good day. Hope you're well, sir. Lufty 340 over the top, east to west, GM man. Is it a little ways out yet, Jilly? North of me? Or, okay. <laughs> well, Kev Parker, that's what uh, Dexter was until a, literally about a month ago. Or... It's like, ow. What's that? What's that? Sorry, what was that? Was that a meow? Ow. Okay. You know. If that has such a divert, diverse, I'm thinking you think, Lenny, uh, fleet such as a first class operation. It is. Um, it's actually made me think of a good um, subject for, uh, for the Friday show to sort of like, you know, um, focus on them in terms of what they've got the Yorkie 007 gifted a membership thank you no no new toy Steve C just um beep beep excuse me do you mind moving beep beep Sound it a little bit louder, Margaret. Go on. Beep, beep. Shut up. <laughs> I can't go. Oh, hold on. Is that Uzbekistan? Oh, no, no, sorry. <laughs> hey, 
That's nice, Barbara. Thank you. You guys are very entertaining. <laughs> I like that. Uh, you're probably wondering why those elevators are in the down position on that 380, folks. That's because the aircraft is not live. In other words, the hydraulic systems are not charged. So there's no pressure in the system. Uh, so the so literally, um, it's uh, they're just sagging down because there's no pressure in the system keeping them in uh, the neutral position. Kind of the same thing with the uh, with the rudder. Um, they unlink it. It is a, uh, a twin uh, rudder system, just because it is such a big tailplane. It kind of needs to be split, much like the uh, 747. Lufthansa, uh, Lufthansa 340 feet free north of Epping Forest because it's the Battle of Epping Forest. Yeah, unfortunately, John Cortman, uh, thank you. Uh, John is a returning member, first class. How are you doing, John? Uh, what is interesting was that tweet that we put out was a bit of fun because um, <laughs> and no one got it it's like what's the deal with the what's the deal with uh, Sasquatch you know um, if you look at the position that the way the, the 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 way that I'm walking if you look at it it looks like the Sasquatch which Jilly um, planted uh, on Photoshop in that image it's one of those you have to be there. If you don't know what you're looking for, then um, if you don't know that famous picture of Sasquatch, uh, then you, you don't get it, uh, understandably. But go Sasquatch and then look at my image and you'll see the... Um, what's it, what, what would you call it? It's the... Uh, it's the uh, Yeah, it's big for I'm just talking about. You love the way that just sits down on the mains, doesn't it? Um, the body position, would you say that? Stance, yeah, the, the, the sort of like, you know, the, the, the way that I'm sort of like looking and, you know, it's, yeah. And the arms, the arms, the position of the arms, it's just... It's got that image all over it, isn't it? And I, it's just hilarious that Jilly sort of like, as soon as, she, <laughs> as, soon as I sent her that image and, she, and brought it up on the PC, it was like, oh my God, that is hilarious. Immediately, she was like, oh, I know, oh, hold on a minute, this is... And I knew exactly what it was that you were talking about. I knew that, um, that, that it was gonna be Sasquatch. It was, it totally was. Uh, plus the fact that it's all fuzzy uh, a bit like it's been filmed from a secret camera or something like that, you know. That's why you, you know, use a bit of imagination and understand. Yeah, it does look like I've been captured as well, doesn't it? Yeah, like, you know. Yeah. I've been papped or something like that, you know. Posture. Is it posture? Well, posture's when you stand, isn't it? Not so much when you walk. You're sort of like, because I'm caught, I'm caught in a frame of moving. I'm moving at the time, you know, I'm not standing there. I'm just moving. Um, Carol Smith, it's the likeness. There we go. The likeness compared to the image. Yeah, there we go. Paul James, welcome, Paul. He's a brand new member. Brand spanking. He's still got the cellophane on it. Don't let any of that um, cellophane end up on the on the uh, on the apron as fod do you hear about that 737 that uh, in, ingested some bubble wrap gate yes vj um, there you go. Let those um, little engines sing, man. What happened to that 343 then, Jilly? Has he gone? Oh. Oh, hold on a minute. 
what I can't see is not trailing. Uh, stance, yeah. It might be stance, but it's like, it's just that I was captured in a moment, wasn't I? And it was my, um, yeah, I guess so, yeah. likeness. Well, no, not likeness, is it? Is it? Yeah! Go on, the CFMs! Big Roo is uh, being towed to gate, Philip Jones. It's, uh, it's off to gate to be, um, to be loaded with passengers and baggage and a little bit of freight. Bubble wrap would be more worried if an engine ingested a goose, but guess it went pop uh, green acres. Yeah, well, it will do. And you think about, you know, think about the damage that it's plastic in it, so it's plastic. Anything that an engine ingests that gets wrapped around its, um, around the, uh, the, 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 the compression blades, the compressor blades, will basically cause it to, it's a bit like rope getting caught round. A boat propeller. Must have seen that before, where a uh, where, where where a propeller's got tangled up with a bit of sort of like smisty she sea shanty. Someone's left that rope out there on the waves, and he's got caught in his. Pardon? How spaceshipy is that thing, man? Oh, uh, Avro Arrow, it's the similarly, uh, similarly blurry shot that does it. There we go, there we go, that's it. Oman Air 787, five minutes out, Aidan Campbell. Two A380s in 30 minutes, Mark Luskin. Well, we're not going anywhere until the last of those have come in. Isn't aviation beautiful as well? As cool and engineery. <laughs> this was another option that we were given uh, to do a show with the Embraer, and that's KLM.
it is about to um, Walkers. Is that one of the wing walkers? Oh no, Vizam, who's that? Viz Wizam, was it, Jilly? Oh, JG May flew on the um, Embraer and is questioning or uh, uh, the, the wing tip. Um, well, you know, um, each aircraft is unique to its own wing tip, is it not? Um, well, I say that the uh, A330 CEO and the 757, uh, 747. Uh, 400 has the same sort of like fence style winglet but the E190 um, raked wingtip is sort of like along the same lines as a, a mini 777 wingtip the bottom line is that um, you kind of want a glider wing so the um, so the you know to maximize the performance of the wing Um, so if you can imagine if you rolled those winglets if you w rolled them down flat it would obviously extend the wing but they're limited to um, the, 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 the length of the wing that they can produce purely on the basis of it being able to park on stand etc etc um, got a couple odd on it so some winglets uh, are raked. Uh, that's a um, sort of like blended, a blended raked wingtip on the uh, on the Dreamliner. It's sort of like a hybrid raked wingtip, isn't it? And this is the the triple seven three hundred has the raked wingtip. That's why some people don't think they have winglets, but they do. It's just raked. It's much longer. See the big pointy bit on the end. Paul Newell, Newell still watching the Sydney members only show, still got two more to watch. There we go. Fantastic. Wow, that's great that you're doing that, folks. And we, you know, from what we see in the stats, you know, in the numbers, it shows that all of the members watch the shows. In fact, there's more views than there are members, if you know what I mean. Um, so a, a lot of the time it shows that people are watching it over and over. Sam Wilson. Next arrival is the Amarna 101 Heavy from Muscat. Like that, thank you, Sam. Carol Smith on the flight path to John Lennon Airport. See a lot of EJs, but love watching them low. Brilliant. Any aeroplanes? to watch away. This is Oman Air. I haven't seen this for a while. We used to know somebody from Oman, didn't they? Working in the tower or something like that? ATC or something? watched the Haas show five times. Alan, have you watched the... Did we put it up, Julie? Yeah. Oh.
well it's Haas um, uh, 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 review with with audio with with what were we going to call it? better audio or something like that better audio yeah uh, fly SSC does Royal Brunei uh, still fly to London Heathrow indeed they do um, in fact normally in the background over there you'd normally be able to see the uh, the Royal Brunei yellow tail on their Dreamliner it usually leaves about five o'clock might have gone Chrissy, the hard show, wonderful, could have listened to the 747 pilot for hours. Well, you've got to coax it out of them, haven't you? When you're interviewing someone. See if you can get on their level. And make them feel relaxed. Which I was very honoured to hear um, from... Warren, wasn't it? I think it was Warren who was very worried about being interviewed and uh, he, he said afterwards, he said, uh, good on you mate, that was, uh, I was really worried about that and you made me feel really comfortable and um, so that's the way of doing it, just uh, okay, any more buses? Flipping heck, you know, got the um, international bus convention going on down there Eve Hoskard, I re-watched shows a lot. I like to have Big Jet TV on in the background. Yeah, you know what, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny what you, because you never know what's gonna happen. Cool new um, police biker like that. Dave's got the new bike on the street. All the other fellas and girls have got the old, um, the old nit, 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 nit. Now we talk about winglets, look at these things folks. 11 feet, quite raked, um, not vertical like the uh, A320 uh, Neos. Um, but all the same, um, obviously the plan is to have a big long wing, like a, like a glider. You see how easily a glider flies when it's, it's not even powered by an engine, you know? Um, so uh, 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 it relies solely on its wing. Um, of course, these things, because of the weight, blah, 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 they have to have engines, jet engines, which, um, which obviously get them in the air. But once they're in the air, uh, the, 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 the design of the wing is something that will, you know, um, give it improved efficiency. <laughs> okay, so what's the story? On the um, on the 380s, let's just have a look here. Okay, I've got them again. I've got two of them. Sorry, folks. I've got them two of them, one after the other. Literally in it, like this morning, uh, we've got Etihad first, followed by um, EK3 uh, coming up from the south. Um, looks like Etihad may. I don't know, are they gonna, are they, yeah, they're on that sort of like route, aren't they? Um, like that um, Air China Star Alliance um, 777 from uh, Beijing, which is uh, just turning, uh, 
well he's actually he's, <coughs> he's about to turn south and then join the ILS oh it looks to me yeah like the uh, Emirates 380 is going to follow the Etihad jet through that line basically over the uh, over and around the Lambourne hold the Lambourne stack whatever so we'll wait for those two getting chilly up on the roof now that sun's gone down Right, mate. Oh, blimey. Uh, I didn't bring me uh, didn't bring me coat, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, it's not going to be that long, is it? I can. I think they're about. What's that? Around about nine thousand feet still for the Etihad jet. Let's just uh, keep an eye on it. Yeah, Emirates about a thousand foot separation on it, and a good few feet uh, behind it as well. Crazy. The sun goes down. Oh, I live on the beach on the other side. This to me. Living it up. Living it up. I'm terrible at uh, songs. Uh, Daniel Burns, EK3, just flew over my house in Pitsy, Essex. Lovely part of the world, Pitsy. Let's have a look at 8380 watch. Might get a bit of a smoky start up on this 76. Look at a dirty bum, mate. Wow, that's a GE started up, mate. Wow, that was. I don't know if it's that cafe jet. I think it's that cafe jet. Are they running that cafe jet? Doing a ground run on it, possibly. Got any heat coming out the back of there? Wow, how cool is that, man? Could you hear that? I wonder if I have a dream about the bleeding horses tonight. <laughs> it's going to go one way or the other, isn't it? I'll be chasing Charlie. He'll be like, right, I've had enough of this, mate. You can't keep chasing me around the bleeding bed. <laughs> get in the gate. Get in the gate. Who's he in the gate? Who's he? <laughs> yeah, you call the police, Jenny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll call the police. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. You little mini tugger. Hello. HGC EY17 number two and uh, EK3 number five on radar. Um, so let's see who's, um, who's going to win the battle of the 380s on flight radar to tonight. Kevin Beasley, South African Airways flies to many destinations, including Abadijan. Abadijan, easy for you to say. Abadijan, Azerbaijan. Why has he put Abadijan? Abadjan. Is it Abadjan or it is Abadjan, not Abadijan? Oh, flipping heck. 
It, no, it's Abby. It's not. It's Abby. Abby. Is that Abby's like? No. Can you see the way he's written it? Look at the way he's written it, Jilly. Kevin Beasley. Look. Abby John. Abby John. Is that is that is that different than Abazai? Ab Azure Azerbaijan. Flipping it. <laughs> no, I know it's not, but you know. Yeah, but it's not every day I see it, is it? So Abidjan, it's like, okay. Abidjan, uh, Abu Dhabi, Accra, Alexander Bay, Amsterdam, Athens, Atlanta, Bangkok, Beijing, Blantyre, Blantyre Blumenfontein, Blumenfontein, uh, Brazzaville, Brazzaville, Brazzaville. I guess these are all, uh, I don't know. What am I reading now? I don't know. Thanks. What's the, uh, <laughs> I don't know. They obviously had a conversation about South African Airways. Um, of course, uh, Alan Partridge, uh, biotechnics. No, Alan, no, you can't. All right, all right. No, Abidjan is the Ivory Coast, yes. No, absolutely, it's what I'm saying. No, 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 I wasn't trying to read Azerbaijan. Trying to read Abidjan. And the fact that I've never heard of it before, that is what I'm talking about. Flipping egg. Is that 343 gone over yet? Yeah, he's landed. <laughs> oh. of do it don't we like in terms of the um in terms of the aircraft recognition stuff just keep watching and you will learn you will learn about aeroplanes these wonderful things that fly around the sky Aidan Campbell had a dream about those I had a Qantas dream last night Melody had 200 cows. Well, it was only three that got out, so. No, the other two went straight over the, uh... no, the other two went straight over the road, didn't they? Into that into the other one. Okay. Oh, is, is Darren Graham on? Is he on? Okay. Lance D has US Army Black Hawks, I'm guessing, fly over my house. Uh, as we speak, shaking the bejesus out of the windows. Wow, is that Black Hawks? I'm guessing, is there a K missing out of that, Lance? John H. Ian Morrison. Miles, hi. Cameron, 23. Europel Palpatine. Okay, let's do a little uh, nice start up on both of those jets, really. Okay, looks like the uh, yeah. Look at they're following each other, Jilly. Look at that. Look at the um, look at radar, folks. The uh, Etihad jet has just turned well, just turning on to finals, and uh, the Emirates jet taking a little bit of a wider line round the back of him. Uh, wow, how cool is that? Look on Flight Radar 24, folks. You take a, your choices, or which one of you choose for uh, the fight name from number one. Who's that? Nice. That's the one that was starting up, wasn't it? Yeah.
Yeah, I know, man. It's just like the last time with the phone. Something happening on the phone. It glitched it. I'm telling you, it was phone related. That is definitely phone related. But I'd understand if it, if it, I'd understand if it was. Wow. No, it's not your. It, it's 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 not your end, mate. It's my end. I'm telling you, it's my end. Yeah. Horses' revenge, Robert Maple. Yeah, I know. Here we go then. Look at this. Look at that for a. Uh... Come on, camera. Oh, come on, son. Flipping it. Don't, 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 don't do it now, mate. Don't do it now. Just, just, just behave yourself, son. No, the Wi-Fi's off, mate. Mind you, the Wi-Fi was on. I've just disconnected it. Okay, so it's not my phone going off and, 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 and causing the problem, it's... Oh, wow. Oh. Wow, it's a server thing that was, folks, a global server thing. Wow, yeah, Amazon servers, yeah, here we go. Still going, big separation. Oh my, I've got to shoot this, stand by. Disappearing off down on the horizon there. Oh my goodness me. Looking forward to summer, man. Really looking forward to summer. Uh, especially if that whole thing goes to plan. Wow. Carol Smith, great engine noise. That's what we like to hear. This one uh, should be just as shouty. Let's have a listen. Step on it, son. Oh, no. She's light. She's light. It's 90% brakes there. Heavier than you, uh, heavier than, um, not as heavy as Kat, uh, Etty had. You got it right in the end. <laughs> Avro Arrow. Mike test success. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everybody. Uh, appreciate your input. Uh, we have uh, now assumed uh, the connect. Ooh, oh. This wants to show off it. It's going to turn 
and right any second now. Here we go. In your face, triple seven. Yeah. Yeah. Living it up, living it up, I can feel it. He's got his big bass guitar under his arm. Sorry. Triple seven Lenny. Oh, Rory, that's beautiful. Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Okay! I must make amends. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Wow! Look at that. Look at it! Beautiful. Thanks everybody. Look after yourselves. Uh, thanks for your input, appreciate it. Uh, it certainly appears that this ear mic on top of the old finger jig works in all uh, aspects in terms of uh, surround, 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 echo, echo, echo sound. Uh, and I can be shouty as I like, or I can be as quiet as I like. Um, so, um, good, thank you folks. Uh, we've, uh, we've tested that, it's perfect. Obviously the only one thing I've got is the lavelli has got a big long lead. You know, so we'll have to do something about. I don't think they do a Lavellia that will plug straight. Oh, you know what? I think they might. You can get the little mics that just pop in. Oh, we'll try that. Um, it's just without the lead, it's just a little plug in. Um, see, so there's your uh, there's your Lavellia, which I was putting on there. But it was a bit shouty. Um, so all I need to do is get that uh, in the jack. Uh, you can get one with the with it with the just the uh, the mic on the end of the jack like that. There like that, and I just stick that in there like that, and coming in like that. Put that in there like that. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. Okay, let's fade it out with this chili. Fade, 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 fade. Echo, echo, echo. 